Hello everyone, Finn and Flask here. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my 1858 Remington New Model Army, however you want to call it. So I believe the real designation is the Remington New Model Army, but people call it 1858 because of they used to be marked with the patent date, which was for the loading lever. Okay, so this revolver is really kind of cool. It's a it's actually one of the ones that Pieta makes with the oversized frame because the original ones had smaller handles and your hand would bunch up on them. I would have preferred to have gotten one of the ones that had the original size grip, but I bought this during the pandemic and this was the only one available when I decided I really needed to have a Remington. I believe the Remington was the number two most produced revolver of the war. Uh, well, the Civil War, I should say. And it was not as light as the Colts. And I can get into a little bit of the reasons why it was probably not liked as much as the Colts during the war. The main reason why I suspect they were not as light during the war as the Colts was because of the, the base pin or arbor, however you want to look at it. This pin is much smaller than this pin and it's generally smooth and this has ridges in it. So you can put lube in here. And if you shoot Remingtons quite often, you will realize that you can't get that many cylinders out of them before they start getting really gummy. And with Colts, it seems to me like you can shoot them pretty much all day. Remingtons are pretty popular with modern shooters. And that's probably because you can easily pop out the cylinder and exchange it. Uh, I doubt that they actually did that much during the Civil War or even, you know, in the immediate aftermath, because it's just kind of a hassle and it's a very expensive piece. So I think they probably just loaded it just like you load a, a Colt. The Remington is probably a more solid design than the Colt due to the fact that it has a solid back strap and the Colt is an open top revolver. Another advantage of the Remington is the fact that it has these deep notches right here that you can actually set the hammer in and it doesn't move. So it's a bit safer than a Colt because those little pins tend to wear off and I don't necessarily trust them very much. So I think it's actually a safer pistol. So the Remington New Model Army is a 44 cal single action, meaning you pull the thing, you have to pull the trigger back to release it, to fire it. It's not double action like more modern revolvers. I really like Remingtons, but I generally prefer Colts. I just love, I just love Colts. I think they got the best looks and everything like that, but this is a pretty bad looking pistol in my opinion, but I still prefer the Colts. So why don't we go out and go shoot? And we're getting ready to shoot it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load some caps on it and clear the nipples. With the Remington, you really kind of have to hand load it, unless if you have a different style of loader because the snail cappers don't fit in there because they're on an angle and you have these little ridges that make it difficult to use one of those snail cappers. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna pop some caps. For the Remington, I like to use my loader. So I pop the cylinder out, pop it on here. And now I'm gonna load like this, 25 grains, a Wonder Wad, then a ball. And I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna load only five this time.
So you just saw me load some round balls in this. I don't actually have any paper cartridges, which is exactly what they would have been using during the Civil War. In the 19th century, round balls were not very commonly used with loose powder. They mostly used paper cartridges, and that's pretty much the same as everybody today. We would just buy cartridges for our pistol. If they were available, we wouldn't buy the loose powder. Just like, basically just like today. I did do some modifications to this pistol for it to accept paper cartridges because right out of the factory, Pieta 1858s do not accept paper cartridges. They have to, you have to expand the opening here for them to fit in and the plunger that comes down to drive it in is too round for it to accept the, the tip of the bullet. So it just mashes and you really can't get it in there. You can check out that video. It's in my cap and ball series playlist. Well, I shot pretty poorly. I hope you enjoyed my introduction to my Remington New Model Army. And if you appreciate my content, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.